Hi everyone, it's Katrina. From snakes that are actually anything but, to an octopus that can pretend to be practically anything in the sea, here are 11 of the most amazing cases of animal mimicry. Number 11. Coral Snakes Coral snakes with their bright bands of red, black, and yellow are quite venomous. Predators have learned this over the years and stay as far away from them as possible. Their bright colors are already warning you to stay away. However, some less venomous but clever snakes have taken the coral snake's coloration into account and have been able to evolve accordingly. Mimicry in the animal kingdom is quite spectacular and gives animals an enormous advantage. One snake is venomous, the others not so much. But if you are a predator, do you really want to risk it? Not really. Several kinds of snakes such as the milk and king snakes mimic the coral snake's color scheme. They all have red, yellow, and black bands around their body. The average person might not be able to tell them apart, but with these snakes, their yellow-colored sections are hugged by bands of yellow on either side. It is not precisely the same color ordering as found in coral snakes, but most of their predators don't notice. In fact, most see this coloration, think they are about to attack something dangerous, and steer clear. In biology, this kind of mimicry where an animal is trying to copy a more dangerous animal is known as Batesian mimicry. There is actually a helpful rhyme to help remember which snake is which. Red touch yellow, kill a fellow. Red touch black, venom lack. If you ever catch a glance of a red, black, and yellow snake, keep this in mind. Number 10. Dead Leaf Mantis Praying mantises are arguably the most regal insects in the animal kingdom. They exude a certain class to which other kinds of insect cannot compare. I rescued one from my cat once. Don't worry, I got it in time. But I held it for a little bit and it was awesome. One particular species of mantis stands out from the rest because of its mimicry, the dead leaf mantis. It should be clear how the dead leaf mantis got its name. This type of praying mantis has evolved to look just like dead or dying leaves. The resemblance is striking. In color, size, and form, the mantis strikes a shocking similarity to everyday leaves that you wouldn't think twice about if you noticed them on the ground. To take the mimicry even further, the mantis imitates the movement of the leaves. If it notices predators nearby, it will sway like a leaf in the wind. There are several different species of dead leaf mantis, which can imitate different kinds of leaves, although they are almost always brown. Number 9. Northern Pygmy Owls in this case, the owl uses self-mimicry. Self-mimicry occurs whenever one part of an animal's body is meant to look like another part of its body. Many animals employ some form of self-mimicry. Some mosquitoes have wings that look like a head, which confuses their predators. Butterflies can sometimes look like they have antenna at the bottom of their wings. Because predators think that this must be their head, the butterfly's head remains protected and it has more time to escape. The most striking instance of self-mimicry has to go to northern pygmy owls. These owls have spots on the back of their heads that look just like a pair of eyes from a distance. They're watching you. Or are they? Given that owls can spin their heads very far, this gives off the impression that the pygmy owls are always watching. It isn't entirely clear why owls develop these spots, but scientists think that these eye spots could trick potential predators into believing that they are being watched. Is it working? Number 8. Blue Striped Fang Blenny the blue striped fang blenny is a kind of fish that lives in coral reefs around the Pacific and Indian Oceans. It looks innocent enough, right? But they are actually venomous. The fang blenny tends to hide in tiny holes to avoid detection, but of course, it takes more than that to survive. The fang blenny is a specialized mime. In particular, they mimic the youth of another species of fish, the blue streak cleaner wrasse. This latter species of fish clean up for larger fish by biting off the parasites on their bodies. So these guys are actually quite helpful, hence the name of cleaner fish. The fang blenny uses this to their advantage and will even do the same little swim dance. Because they look like a young blue streak, big fish will often approach them for a quick clean, at which point the fang blenny bites them and then leaves the scene. The fang blenny's venom, which also contains opioids, helps to dull its host's reaction to the bite. It also buys the fang blenny some time. After utilizing this mimicry, the fang blenny spy is well fed and no worse for wear. Over time, the adult fish learn to tell the difference between a cleaner and a biter. And now for number 7. But first, I wanted to say a big thank you to Estela Salinas and Silver Dragon 788 for their amazing comments and for supporting this channel. Be sure to subscribe and leave your favorite animal using mimicry in the comments below. Number 7. Katie did. 
While in many cases animals are trying to protect themselves from scary predators to avoid getting eaten by something bigger, sometimes animals use it to capture prey. Katydids are masters at mimicry and camouflage. While stick bugs look like sticks, katydids can look like all kinds of leaves. Found in humid and tropical areas, katydids have mastered the art of speckled, decaying, and frayed leaves. Even within the same species, no two individuals are alike. There are actually more than 6,000 kinds of katydids, but they are unified by their big back legs, leaf-like body, and skinny antenna. Katydids listen around for the sound of a male cicada's mating songs. Once they hear it, they implement a clever trick. They mimic the kind of wing clicks that female cicadas use to indicate that they are open to reproduction. After the katydid does so, the male cicadas come nearer in the hopes that they will come across a female. However, they have been tricked, and they are instead greeted with a hidden leaf slash katydid that attacks them. The katydid also has to watch out as the opposite can happen. Why do you think their mimicry is so extreme? Why does each one have to be so unique? Because their main predator is quite intelligent. Monkeys! Each one has to be different so the monkeys don't recognize them all as a tasty snack. They might find a few, but others can get away unobserved. Number 6. Cuttlefish Cuttlefish are perplexing and beautiful creatures. Their wavy skin has an almost psychedelic quality, and they are no dummies either. They employ two distinct kinds of mimicry. Cuttlefish use a kind of self-mimicry to find a mate. During mating season, male cuttlefish will often fight for dominance to win a female and reproduce. Generally speaking, the smaller one loses. However, this doesn't bring it down. The smaller cuttlefish will mimic the body color of a female cuttlefish, or even pretend to have an egg sac. Once they have tricked the bigger male cuttlefish who gets distracted, they will dart right past them and mate with the female. Scientists have also observed cuttlefish raising and changing the color of their arms, and then flapping them while hovering close to the bottom of the ocean floor. Many think that this is to mimic the behavior of hermit crabs. This could serve two purposes. One, crabs have a hard shell which deters predators who don't want a crunchy meal. Second, since hermit crabs don't usually feed on living things, some of the cuttlefish's prey might venture close to the ocean floor and come within its striking zone, giving the cuttlefish an easy meal. Number 5. Four-Eye Butterfly Fish One of the most interesting kinds of mimicry that animals use to psych out predators are eye spots. These are exactly what they sound like. They are spots on animals' bodies that look like eyes. Eye spots are useful because predators tend to aim for the eyes in order to successfully attack the head. Eye spots thus get predators to aim in spots that will be less effective. A great variety of animals use eye spots. Many moths and butterflies have beautiful patterns on their wings that take the form of eyes. Peacocks have large eye spots on their feathers that are used to indicate their reproductive suitability. There is actually a direct correlation between the number of eye spots and reproductive success in peacocks. Many bobcats have eye spots behind their ears, which can serve to communicate social signals to other cats. The four-eye butterfly fish have almost comically large eye spots at the base of their tails. When their predators see these spots, they think that the butterfly fish will flee in the direction of their eye spot. But this is a trick. The butterfly fish will really go in the other direction, which gives them the upper hand in evading those who would want to eat them. Number 4. Two-Headed Snake Eye spots are a pretty impressive thing for multiple species to independently evolve, but what about head spots? As it turns out, this is not such a far-fetched concept. The yellow-lipped sea crate has developed a way to trick predators into thinking that its head is located on its tail. This is because the coloration of its tail is similar to the coloration on its head, so when the snake puts its actual head into coral reefs in search of food, its tail, which looks like its head, is moving around. Even though the sea crate is incredibly venomous, it has no defense when it is searching for food. It gets a little distracted. But since its head-looking tail is so active when it's digging into these crevices, most predators, and even many scientists, see the active head and steer clear, hoping to avoid a bite. In fact, this trick even fooled the scientist who first discovered the phenomenon. Thinking that he was looking at an active head above water, he was shocked to see another one come up from below. Only then did he figure out what was going on. If this trick can work on human scientists, then it's no wonder why it works to deter sharks, birds, and other fish. Number 3. Caterpillars What the heck is this? Surprise! Not a snake. But I'm sure you already figured that out. It's the hawk's moth caterpillar. Felipe de Andrade, filmmaker and host of National Geographic Wild's Untamed, has been around the world recording all kinds of wildlife, like lions and sharks and venomous spiders. 
But when someone in Costa Rica told him about a caterpillar in the rainforest that acted like a pit viper, he had to see it for himself. He said, the first time I saw it, I was in complete and utter disbelief. National Geographic reports that the sight of the bug sent him laughing and crying at the same time. When he got a little too close, the snake-like caterpillar felt his breath and jabbed at the air. The surprising but harmless strike sent Dandrade reeling back. If they get scared, they will puff up the front of their bodies to show off huge spots that look like eyes, along with fake scales and a snake-like curve. They will even pretend to strike. These little guys are not afraid. Caterpillars are experts at blending in, and the caterpillar of the giant swallowtail butterfly takes it to a whole other level. In this case, if it looks like bird poop, it just might be a caterpillar. Other moth caterpillar species also have a white and brown coloring that makes them look just like bird droppings. They will also change their movement and posture so they look just like a dollop of excrement to avoid predators, and they are able to hide much better in this shape than lying stretched out. When the giant swallowtail caterpillars are young, they are a dark shade of brown with white streaks throughout. Birds are the caterpillar's primary predator, and they are not interested in eating that. As the caterpillar grows and gets bigger, they turn a yellowish green and develop two huge false eye spots, making them look like a snake. Very few predators prey on snakes, giving the swallowtail yet another advantage. As a last resort, if the caterpillar is under attack, it spits out its osmetrium, which is a Y-shaped tongue-like organ that resembles the tongue of a snake. In addition to emitting a sour smell, its appearance is a further predator deterrent. Number 2. Deep Sea Fish Snakes are pretty scary and powerful in the animal kingdom, and many animals try to be them so that predators will stay away. But there are even scarier creatures lurking at the bottom of the sea. Abyssal fish or deep sea fish that have evolved to overcome extreme environmental challenges. For example, anglerfish, which swivel through the dark depths of the ocean with their ghostly faces, giant teeth, and bioluminescent fins, waiting to attack their prey. And attack they will. Anglerfish have a very distinctive feature worn only by females. They have a piece of dorsal spine that hangs over their mouths like a lure that lights up in the pitch black sea. Using this bioluminescence, their lure looks a lot like the prey of other deep sea creatures. Once they come towards the light in the dark, towards the innocent looking glowworm, boom! They are snatched by the cranky anglerfish. Just like in Finding Nemo, where Marlin and Dory encounter the lure of an anglerfish while swimming blindly in the deep sea. Anglerfish will even wiggle their lures in order to better approximate the movement of other abyssal fish's prey as they stay hidden. Viperfish and other deep sea fish have also evolved to become exceptionally dark. How do you blend in with nothingness? You mimic a black hole. No, I'm just kidding, but they have been able to adapt so much that they effectively disappear. They just have to mimic the water and darkness around them. Number 1. The Mimic Octopus The Mimic Octopus is nature's master of deception, and predators will get punked. Found in the Indo-Pacific, this creature will mimic just about any venomous or bad-tasting creature it can, depending on who is after it. Unlike other animals whose camouflage comes from constant colorations, an octopus can change its color depending on its needs and even the texture of its skin. While most animals mimic just one thing, this octopus can impersonate several animals and change right away between them. National Geographic reports that it can also contort its body to take on the appearance and behavior of several animals, including the lionfish, jellyfish, sea snake, a shrimp, a crab, and more. To mimic the sea snake, for example, the octopus tucks into a hole, sticking just two arms out that display black bands and ripple them in opposite directions, mimicking a snake's movement. Even more remarkably, the cephalopod only takes the form of a sea snake when bothered by damselfish, who are preyed on by sea snakes. Thanks for watching! What is your favorite instance of animal mimicry? Let me know in the comments below, and be sure to like and subscribe for more! See you next time! Bye!